So this camera right here is the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 and they just came out with a firmware update this week. It is May 2024, so let's go over what's in that update. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives and today I want to go over the firmware update for this camera. Again, this is the DJI Osmos Pocket 3, so let's dive straight into it. The first two things are going to have to do with live streaming. When you're using this, when you're live streaming, you will now have the ability to use the ActiTrad feature. And then if you're connecting this to your computer, you can now stream at 4K. Another thing they added with the update was they made the wearable mode higher in the menu so you can access it quicker. So why would you want this? A lot of people that do first person viewpoint, they'll have the screen facing outward. And this just makes sure the screen turn off. If you watch here, it'll just go off in a few seconds. Now what this does is it makes it a little less obvious that you're using it. You can be a little bit more incognito. What this also does is helps conserve battery life a little bit. And then when you want to wake it up, you just tap your screen and then swipe to exit it. Now what you can also do now is go into your menu. And if you scroll all the way down to the power management level, auto power off, you can now select never. If you want to use that, the option's right there. Personally, I keep mine at about a minute, just in case I forget to use it, it's there. This is also going to update to a new mode. So we're going to go here, and it's going to be this FPV lock. Now this is compared to FPV. FPV, if you go left, you go right, up, and down. You see the camera is a little bit slow, lag behind to where it's looking at. So let's go ahead and select FPV. Now what this does, it'll keep it relatively in line with your screen. So what you're looking at, it's going to stay, it's going to be a lot more quick to follow that. For me, I know that I'm going to be using this more, especially with vehicles. When you make that turn and it kind of pans into your vehicle and then slowly ahead, this will keep it right along where you're aimed at so you don't have to worry about all that only body and then ahead of you. It'll just keep that aimed right ahead of you or in reverse. If you've been using this camera for any length of time, you probably noticed that it does do a little lens breathing and in certain cases that can completely ruin a shot. And you really don't know until you take that footage and you edit it in your computer. For this firmware update, it is supposed to optimize that. So hopefully we'll see a lot less of that. We'll have to test this going into the future. For me, I notice this when I do some unboxing videos. It just does it a tiny bit, enough to draw your focus away from the main picture. But for this firmware update, it is supposed to optimize that. So hopefully we'll see a lot less of that. So one of my biggest pet peeves with this is when you connect the DJI Mic 2 to this, it has that little banner and you try to swipe it away and it doesn't do anything and then it just sits there and it's there and it's there and then there and then eventually it goes away. Now with this firmware update you should be able to just swipe it away so it's there for less than a second. Now the remaining things for this update are just small little things. They don't really go into specifics but I'm sure they're like little optimizations and stuff like that. So that is it. That is all of the firmware updates for the Osmos Pocket 3 in May of 2024. If you have any questions, leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.